Yeah. Look at my guy too, his face is all yay. No! Yeah. No! Oh, this is how we make up. Hello and good morning everyone. Happy Friday, happy weekend. So excited that it's the weekend. Today is a special Friday because the kids are home and that means we are doing online Friday hip hip hooray. This is our last online Friday. Kids are working on some fun things. Rexon has a super easy day today and I think, I'm not quite sure, but I think this princess is going to be working on a Mother's Day gift, huh? Right She's here. got some soil and a pot and some seeds. So. Kids are in here and they're blue flowers. Seeds. Ooh. Is that right? Yeah. We're gonna be having some fun today doing some online homework, but we're gonna honestly take it kind of easy. Last two weeks of school after this, this week we only had four days. Next week we have a full five days, and then the following week they have two early out days. The last couple weeks here are pretty great, and we're so excited. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you have to make sure you all come back tomorrow because kind of a big day for me, and I'm kind of nervous and I'm kind of freaking out. Really freaking out. Tomorrow, I am speaking at the Power in You event. She asked me several months ago to speak. And I was like, sure, oh my gosh, I'm so flattered, I'm so honored and humbled. And now as time has gotten closer, I'm kind of freaking out. I had to show you this gift Brandon's mom brought over to me last night. This is the absolute cutest gift ever. She got me some red vines and I wanna read you exactly what she said to me with this gift. When life's ropes begin to unravel, tie a knot, hold on, simply do your best. I thought that was so cute. These are red vine ropes. And then she got me my very favorite drink and she said, Dr. Pepper is the best kind of doctor. A dose a day keeps the blues open away. Definitely could use that. Then here in the back is like some bath salt. The saying that she put with this one was legend has it that throwing salt over your left shoulder brings good luck. That was so thoughtful and so cute of her. I'm going to definitely be eating some treats, drinking some Dr. Pepper, and actually I've been doing several salt baths because my legs are so sore from running. Are you gonna announce her? Or are you gonna come up? All right, guys. And next up, we have you've probably heard her before. Her name is was it Mindy? <laughs> it's actually Mandy. <laughs> Mandy Bingham. Mom crushing it on her prep program, doing some practice runs. I made a few errors. No, you did great, and we finalized it, did some fine tuning. It is now sent off to the presses. They're gonna be printed and handed out. Be what it's gonna be. It's, it's locked, be sealed, delivered. done. So tomorrow, it's going down. But before that, we wanted to come up to the house. We have a meeting today mm -hmm. discussing all things landscape. And when I say all things mm -hmm. landscape, you've heard we've done a few of those meetings. This one's like trees, bushes, nursery stuff, pavers. I don't know. I don't know the Actually, extent. We're not entirely sure. We're not entirely sure, but we know it's a big one. Very productive. Yes. That actually is everything but the pool. So like yeah. all landscaping. So now we know everything. They're gonna go off, put together, they used our cool plan designs that we have. Awesome like animated scene in the backyard. He's gonna go put together like a cost bit on everything. We talked about like pavers versus concrete on the pool, different ways to build up that slide. Do you wanna do these trees or not? Different types of sport courts. Went over everything. Yes. He's gonna give us back the cost breakdown, see what things we wanna do and not do. I feel like we have got it in the right hands. These guys are amazing. They're awesome and they've thought of everything and things that are even on that paper, they're going, well, this is a different way to do it. I feel like we've been given so many different opinions we'll have the best backyard absolutely so that wrapped up that was our big meeting that of the day awesome. so time to head back home let's go see what the kids are up to Okay, right guy, what are we playing now, dude? I'm just playing some Kirby. Kirby? It is, is this the so one that we fun. got for the flight to Maui? Yes, it's so fun. We never told you guys this, but we got two new games on the Switch, and mm -hmm. Nintendo actually was super rad and sent them to us. They gave yeah. us digital download codes yeah. for the flight. We got the new Kirby game. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that one. What exactly is it? So about? Kirby pretty much has a massive mouth and he can just <laughs> swallow a bunch of stuff. But he also can get these certain abilities. The one that I have right now, it makes it so you can like go under the ground and jump up. Really fun. You can just get all these special abilities. I just got ice. So now I can like freeze like people. powers and stuff. Let's see, what's this So is one? it kind of like, it seems like Mario-ish. Is it a little bit Mario-ish? Yes. Like your character going around exploring, grabbing stuff, collecting things. Yeah, so now I'm going into this boss fight. Oh dude, this is actually a double Then I just fight a giant swarm like can freeze this person, tries to kill me. Obviously I'm just better. Do you play this on the plane on the way out there a little bit? Yes. Honestly, it seems kiddish, but it is such a fun game. We got these games because we knew that we had a lot of playtime. So Raga yeah. got this one and then we actually put the Star Wars game on this Switch and I was supposed
supposed to play that. Yeah. I didn't end up playing it as much as I wanted to because I was editing. Star it. Wars The Skywalker Saga. Yeah, so the Skywalker Saga kind of awesome. full thing, which I have full grown adult dude mm -hmm. friends texting about how insane yep. that game is. Look how sick this is. Literally every single level is one of the movies. So you got Phantom Menace, Rise of Skywalker, Last Jedi, Force Awakens. That's when I started on the plane was Force Awakens. Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back. Like literally every single world is one of the movies and you play through the movie. Like you yeah. are the characters in it and it's all of them, bro. Every character, it's gotta be the most deep, yeah. thorough Star Wars game it's ever made. So like sick. by a mile. And then yeah. of course it's like super fun because it's Lego style, kid friendly as well, but it's gonna entertain even me. Of course, Rye Guy loves it, but I would put this as probably one of my absolute like top yeah. favorite Nintendo Switch games. It's I so sick. love this. Okay, but Raga, that's got me thinking. We should do like our absolute like top we favorite should. Nintendo Switch games because I think there's a lot of Nintendo Switch lovers out there. You guys know how much we love Nintendo and the Switch. Every kid has a Nintendo Switch Lite. I love it. Raga just got the got OLED, OLED for Christmas and it is thing ever. insane. It is so crispy. I can see it from a mile away. Like the colors just pop. The resolution is mm -hmm. off the charts. So actually the main console over there, that's what we call that one, is like the mm -hmm. main Switch. We call that a main family Switch. Raga's kind of somewhat gifted that to me yeah. so that I can play with them. Our first ever, this is the one, our first yep. ever family game Gaming console. If you guys Three haven't seen that video. Day two, one. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Incredible. The kids went and saved up their own money. They mm -hmm. pieced together the money together to pitch in That's and buy funny. their first ever gaming console. And we as parents were cool with yeah. it being a Nintendo Switch Shocked. because it was fun, but at the same time, felt like it had more parent yeah. control options. Good and I don't know. Games that like aren't bad or anything. Yeah, they had a, a better selection of games that are fun, kid and family friendly. Had a lot, like this is like you said, what, three something years ago. Come a long way. We now have four, Switch yeah. lights for every kid in the family. There's also a really fun video on Christmas Eve where Minnie's parents surprised the kids with their own Switch lights, that was pretty cool. Anyways, all that aside, got some Nintendo Switch experience. Yes. We know Very what the much. good games are. Kids love to play them all the time. So what do you say? We do our top favorite Nintendo Switch games. Dude. Show some of the gameplay. Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Lite, sick. Nintendo Switch OLED, or is it just called Switch OLED? I wanna make sure I'm saying that right. Switch OLED. Traditional console Nintendo Switch, that's what Switch I call this one, the old Nintendo Switch. Showcase some more favorite games. Tell everybody what we love about them. Why we think they are the best and greatest and coolest games. I think that'd be cool. Make like our top list, like top three, yes. top five, something like that. Let's do top five. Yes, top our Top five, top five Nintendo Switch games. Nintendo Switch games. Let's do it, starting with number five. Let's go. <laughs> number five. Coming in at number five, we've got Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This one is fresh, it's new, it's so much fun. This is the one that I played on the plane to Maui. Now this one is rad because it's like that open 3D world. It's got that fun, vibrant colors. Like the whole thing just comes alive, really stands out on the OLED screen. Also, there's just so many cool powers you can get, bosses that you fight in the 3D world a la Mario, where you get to roam all over the place. Just adds so many layers of fun as you climb up and over things, around things, solving puzzles, collecting powers. This one's a blast. Number four. The number four spot, we just told you how amazing this game is. If I was doing the ranking, this would probably end up higher on the list, but I let Ragai and the kids put this one together. They put Star Wars, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga in the number four spot. The gameplay on this is absolutely insane. It is every single Star Wars movie in one game. How many movies they've made? 19 of them, 27, <laughs> nine of them. Plus all kinds of DLC, additional bonus content, so many things you can do in this game. Literally you could play this forever, never get bored of it, probably never even see all of it. So we love how in depth it is, but of course you're marrying the worlds of Star Wars and Lego doesn't get cooler than that. I played the Force Awakens chapter. As we flew out to Hawaii, this is another game that Nintendo was kind enough to provide to us. They sent us a digital code so that we could have this, download it, and play it on our flight, and we had so much fun playing this one. This is going to be something that will appeal to Lego fans, Star Wars fans, or just fans of great games in general because there is so much, to do. like I said, so much content. You get so much bang for your buck. That's why this one makes our top five list. Coming in at number four. Number three. 
Coming in at number three, we are now on the podium with our top three Nintendo Switch video games, Super Smash Bros, you guys. This one is all time classic. There are a host of iconic video game characters pretty much throughout the history of the entirety of gaming. You can be just about anyone you want to be and then battle it out with other characters in these insane worlds that stretch on multiple levels. Sometimes you're on the wings of an airplane, sometimes you're jumping across a mountain, sometimes you're going into an alternate universe, and then the elements around you, the actual levels themselves, crumble on top of themselves. You go up, down levels, collecting and using insane powers that light up the entire screen until ultimately a winner is crowned and the battle is won. Super Smash Bros, this one is all time. Number two. Coming in at the number two spot, we have a brand new game. This game just came out. Nintendo actually offered to send us this game. I did not get a chance to respond to the email on time for launch day. That was my bad, but we wanted it so bad. We just ran to the store and picked it up anyway. talking about Nintendo Switch Sports. Guys, this is a throwback to the Wii Sports days. If you ever play with the Wii Rag, didn't you used to say you used to play like Wii Bowling, Wii Sports all the oh, time? Oh yeah, I always went over to my friend's house and played Wii Bowling. It's the funnest thing ever. I swear like almost everybody has a memory of using a Joy-Con in your hand to play a physical sports game on a TV screen. It was like revolutionary, mind-blowing. Nintendo still doing it with Nintendo Switch Sports. This is an absolute throwback, but updated and brought into the Nintendo Switch world. This one comes with, if you get this kit right here, this bundle, comes with a leg strap so you can play soccer, so you can physically kick the ball in the game with the strap. You just put the Joy-Con into the strap, strap it around your leg, and have a throwdown sports competition. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> this is a great one for the whole family to get involved. Multiplayer, you can play against each other. Brings out the competitive spirit in everybody. <sighs> oh! oh shit. Ah! Ah! That was the save of all saves, bro. Ooh, this is how we make up. Yeah. Hey. Look at my guy too, his face is all, yikes. No! <laughs> Let's go. And it seems like every time we finish a match or a game, we just want to fire up another one. This one coming in high on our list. Brand new game, Nintendo Switch Sports, taking the number two spot. This one is a great one for everyone in the family to play. Before we get to our number one top Nintendo Switch game, according to Ragai and the kids, mostly Ragai because spoiler alert, number one is his favorite game. We did want to run by you some honorable mentions that barely didn't make our top five. Honestly, they could have interchanged into the top five with almost any of the games. These are other amazing games that the kids absolutely love. Super Mario 3D World, hard to beat any Mario game, especially on the Nintendo Switch. Super Mario 3D World, honorable mention. Rocket League, who doesn't love Rocket League? The kids play in tournaments almost daily. Combination of race cars and and soccer in some futuristic arenas. Very, very cool. We love Rocket League played as an entire family. One of the most acclaimed video games to ever come out on the Nintendo Switch, Metroid Dread. Rag, I got into that one pretty heavily. Also very deep game, great story. A lot of long-term playability. Makes our honorable mentions. Animal Crossing, loads of fun. Good one for kids of all ages as well as adults. Great time-passing game that you can really get into. Snow Runners is probably the game that Rag Guy has logged the most hours on just because of its depth. The open world map going all over over the place, collecting trucks, trailers, has a very realistic vibe to it, the way that you operate the machinery. And I gotta say, Ragai's probably learned more about trucking from that game than he could have if he went to trucking school. But those are our honorable mentions, but with that out of the way, it is time now for our number one, first place, gold medal, platinum edition, greatest bestest of all time, Nintendo Switch video game, coming in at number one, you may have guessed it, we're talking about Zelda Breath of the Wild. Number one. So Zelda is one of my favorite games ever. I have logged so many hours on this. One of my friends started playing this game and I just got hooked. There are so many fun parts to this game. Getting a bunch of different costumes and getting different swords, getting different shields, different mobs. It's just so fun. You can even buy houses, buy horses, you can get armor for those horses. It just has such an amazing storyline. I love it so much. I love it because you start off pretty weak sauce and then you just become unbeatable. <laughs>
your little like Joy-Con holder uh -huh. here. Is that officially Nintendo licensed? I see the logo on there. No, that it's officially from? licensed by Riley Bingham. Did you make that? Yes, sir, on my 3D printer. You 3D printed this? <laughs> yes, it's actually so sick. Dude, hold up, didn't you make that also in white as well? Yeah, <laughs> I've made like four of them. I love that you 3D print stuff, but it's also cool stuff. So yeah. he's actually playing on a controller pad that I love he 3D it. printed. Just like so thin and portable. <laughs> I love it. Very cool, dude. Very cool. Safe to say this dude loves his Nintendo. Yep. There you have it, the Bingham Top 5. Wait a minute, are you wearing the number one right there? Yes, sir. That's the number one, you guys. That is the Bingham Top 5. Bingham boys, myself included, honestly, mostly Rye Guy. The other kids pretty much just play Rocket League yeah. and Apex Legends. That would be their top 10. But top five, Nintendo Switch games by the Bingham family. What is on your top five list? What are some of your favorites? Now, Rye Guy, as you saw, has printed a bunch of 3D stuff, 3D printed stuff mm -hmm. for his Nintendo Switch. One of the things that he printed could hold his top five games and then some. Bro, what is this little guy? So this is a question mark block and I have from Mario, right? Up. Yep, and it just has all of my Nintendo Switch games. Then I also 3D printed a mini cartridge of this, and it like legit fits in my Switch. Kind of cool. <laughs> Put that in your Switch, but I love it. This is a little block 3D printed that's yep. made for holding Nintendo Switch games, Number made two. in a Mario block. But of course, sick. mostly we do digital these days. Yeah, it's just easier. We go to the online shop. One of the kids' favorite things e that they get for Christmas, Easter, anything is a Nintendo eShop e e gift cards. Absolute so. favorite, you guys. Huge massive Nintendo fans. Yep. And again, a shout out and a thank you to Nintendo for always being so awesome and working with us. They did the provide best. us with the Kirby game as well as the Star Wars game. They offered the sports game. We wanted it so bad, we just ran to the store and yeah. grabbed it because that's how much we love it. And so far, that one's climbing the list. Guys. I love it. We've been playing it's that a so lot fun. lately. Check those games out. We'll put the full list in the description so you guys can see our top five. But we do love gaming. Talking about it all day as we've been making this video today. We just love combining our passions of creating content, yep. making these fun vlogs, these fun videos. That is gonna wrap it up for today. We may do a little more gaming before yep. we get into bed tonight, but we love you guys. Thanks for hanging. Make sure you come back tomorrow. A lot of fun and exciting, epic things going down this weekend. We have Mother's Day coming up. That is a huge one. We got some fun surprises up our sleeves for that. I'm sick. actually giving a talk on Mother's Day. Mom is speaking at her Power and You event. So we have a lot of a things lot going, going down this weekend that you don't want to miss. You want to yeah. be a part of. So come back. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.